Now, Christmas can be hard for families that can't be together, particularly if the parent is in prison. That's the situation for more than 300,000 children in England and Wales. Around one in 15 children will have a father spend time in jail before they leave school. Twice as many children are affected by parental imprisonment than those affected by divorce. The Angel Tree Project is a charity that helps prisoners make Christmas special for their children. Sarah Bassett has been to Guy's Marsh Prison in Dorset to see how it all works. And the interviews that have been done are anonymous to protect the inmates' children. I've made a big mistake, a mistake that I won't be making again. I committed a crime and I deserve to be punished for that. I'm spending the next two years and three months here. That's my story. Guy's Marsh Prison near Shaftesbury can hold nearly 600 inmates. The Reverend Mike Turnbull is one of the chaplains here. It's a Category C men's prison uh, with a, an emphasis on rehabilitation, resettlement. This is used um, for the Anglican services, the Free Church services, the Catholic services. Hope is something that prisoners sometimes uh, neglect and we, we constantly reinforce the fact that there is hope for their future. And one way to maintain that hope is the Angel Tree Project, a charity that helps get Christmas presents to the children of inmates across England and Wales. So the Angel Tree Project has helped me to stay connected to my family at Christmas, my two boys. It's allowed me to write a personalised message to them, to have a gift so it's a real surprise at Christmas. I have two children at home. Obviously this time of year without their dad can be upsetting for them. So I try to just send them a little present or a card just to show them that I'm thinking of them. It just gives you that feeling of connection when you're inside to outside at Christmas time which will be very difficult for myself and I'm sure for everybody else that's in prison. For me to be able to send a gift to my children at these times means the world to me. It's not your children's fault, is it? No, it's not their fault and it's not their fault and it's, um, yeah, it's not fair on them. Last Christmas in England and Wales, nearly 5,000 children received a present through this scheme. Volunteers from the charity buy, wrap and post the gifts to them. Each parcel includes a handwritten note from their parent in prison. We know that at Christmas time it's really important for families to stay together. We also think about Christmas in terms of hope, in terms of love, the whole concept of a baby being born in a manger and you know the whole story of Christmas and God sending him son. And we think about that and think about the fact that there are people who are in prison, they're men and women, and just because they're prisoners, it doesn't mean that they're not mums and dads still. And we want to help facilitate something very special for them at Christmas time. It's the reason why you want to leave here a better person. The reason you never want to come back. That's your family, for myself anyway. You need hope. Sometimes prison can be quite a dark and lonely place. So you need to have hope that there are other people on the outside that care for you total strangers in some cases. So it's really important, that hope aspect, to rehabilitation and being able to leave here with your head held high and not be defined by your period in prison. The inmates there at Guy's Marsh Prison talking to Sarah Bassett about the Angel Tree Project.